Someone who doesn't need to audition in front of Simon Cowell is the internationally loved singer-songwriter Narina Palo. She taught herself piano as a child before moving on to the guitar and there's been no stopping her since. She's enjoyed massive success with many critically acclaimed albums and has even written songs for Kylie Minogue. To tell us about her new album and perform for us too, welcome to the show, the lovely Narina Palo. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. You too. And gang, I should say, welcome as well. So this fifth album of yours, a bit different to the others. I think so, yeah. I mean, it, it, it sounds pretty different from previous More R&B? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, love, I really love a lot of R&B and um, hip-hop and things like that. And I guess in the previous records, I haven't really, re haven't really reflected that. But it's what I've been listening to a lot for the last few years. It sounds like you were very musical from, from being a child, you know, teaching yourself the piano, the guitar. You also studied opera as well. Was it a very musical family? Yeah. Um, People in my family love music. There are lots of musicians. Um, my mum was a professional singer in, in the 60s and 70s. Um, yeah, I mean, th th we have a family get together and everybody gets a guitar out and starts singing. Oh, really? Yeah. And how would you describe you know, the journey to where you are now? Is, 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 has it been a hard slog, would you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can think about it if you want. I know. <laughs> it is, but, I mean, that's what... I think at some point in your life you make a decision to do the thing you love and you have to accept that if you do something that is tricky, like music or acting or... You know, the entertainment industry is not easy, but your love of the thing you do is what gets you through all those hard times. So yeah. you're going to do it whether, you know, you have massive success or you, you don't because it's the thing that is your passion. So I just feel really privileged that I get up and I get to sing and play guitar and I call it work, you know. Uh, are you a very impulsive person? You probably know where I'm going with this. Uh, <laughs> I said, but I, in some ways, I'm really not. Really? But in the things that don't matter, like having a sofa, I'll spend months choosing a sofa. And, and finding a husband, by, no, by all accounts, as well. No, I did it, it in a few minutes. You did? You, on the first date, you got yeah, engaged? In half Within an half an hour. hour? Yeah. Really? Yes, really. How yeah. did all that happen, then? I don't know. I think it was really serendipitous. Um, and when I think about it, it, was, it could have been pure madness, but... You know, eight years, eight and a half years later, and a little boy later, where, yeah. Uh, and the boy has uh, the most musical name. Yeah, he may not thank us for it when he's older. I'm not sure he will. Yeah, he's called Wolfgang Amadeus. After Mozart. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Well, when the day I found out I was pregnant, we were watching the movie Amadeus. Okay. And I always loved that name, Wolfie, because that's what he's called in the right, movie. Right, okay. And so my husband and I looked at each other and said, if it's a boy, we're totally doing Wolfgang Amadeus. I think he's probably going to be a songwriter, you know? Right now, he wants to be Arsenal captain. Nothing wrong with that, either. I love him. He's a boy with style. Yeah, 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 totally. Well, we need a centre-forward as well. That'd be great. I think, I think he, he's got a great left foot on him. Oh, has so he? he could be a really good <laughs> left footer. Let's see. Um, if people want to see you live, uh, you've got a gig coming up, haven't you, September? I have, yeah. I'm playing in London on September the 17th at the Scala in King's Cross with Fantastic. my Fantastic. And you're going to perform for us today. I'm I delighted. Um, uh, what's first? I'm going to do my new single, and it's called Russo. Brilliant. Take it away. Thank you. A state of grace, untouched, untraced, a ritual passage, and from. Shit. 
lovers, I think it's time. Got your picture here beside me, my lipstick marks all on your coffee cup. Mm -hmm. I got a fist of your emotion, got a head of shattered dreams, got to leave them, got to leave them all behind now. Whatever I said, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you back for good. I want you back. I want you back for good. you back. 